cost of capital basics. The cost to a firm for capital funding equals the return to the providers of those funds. The return earned on assets depends on the risk of those assets. A firm's cost of capital indicates how the market views the risks of the firm's assets. A firm must earn at least the required return of the investor to compensate investors for the financing they have provided. The required return is the same as the appropriate discount rate. So to find the price, uh, the rate of equity, you can use the dividend growth model approach. Start with the dividend growth model formula and rearrange. I believe we have that on our list. So we have both of them, right? So let's see. Yeah, we've got that right here. Okay, good. Uh, we, have, we have both, don't we? Show yeah. me. And then the uh, hang on, market, no, go back right to that one. Go back right to that one. Yeah, we have it. Uh, P O and then R E. Yeah, yeah we've got it. Excellent. Okay, and then we have the standard market line. Compute the cost of equity using the risk free rate and the beta and the market risk premium. Cost of preferred stock, uh, we have that. Yes. Okay. Pref preferred stock is considered a perpetuity. Weighted average cost of capital. Use the individual costs of capital and cook to compute a weighted average cost of capital for the firm. This average, the required return on the firm's assets, based on the market's perception of the risk of those assets. The weights are determined by how much of each type of financing is being used. Capital structure weights. E is the market value of equity. D is the value of the share of the debt. The V is the value. Okay. Uh, so this is just the the whack. Okay, we can do that. Excellent. Okay.